Now that we have large flights and international flights going, we've actually completed the tutorial. But we haven't completed the game as such because there's still research to be done. There are still services we aren't using. I'm going to start by doing catering service. Like every other piece of research, you must do that first. Get the project going, get your uh, administrators assigned to it, and then wait for it to be completed. Once that research is completed, you can go to the aircraft infrastructure panel and place down a catering depot. Now, the important thing to be aware of here is that it has entrances on either side and they are substantially different. One of them, which currently is the south end, must be connected to your service roads. The other end must be connected to public roads. So ideally you want to place these sorts of buildings somewhere near the front of your airport, making it possible to have a nice easy connection between the public road and the service road. Now I think I'm going to place mine in here and that means I need to redesign some of my paths. Now that I've made room, I can place this just like I would place any other building and wait for it to be constructed. While I'm waiting, of course, I will connect up the roads. And that top one's actually connected already, that's fine. The catering service works in a very similar way to the fuel services. You will have trucks that occasionally bring in food, and you'll have trucks that deliver the food to your planes, and those trucks can carry a certain amount of cargo. But the key difference is that the fuel trucks can carry fuel all day long, and it doesn't matter if it's sitting in the tank and not getting used. Catering trucks do not carry food unless they are attending to a job for a particular plane. They must therefore travel from wherever their storage place is to the catering depot, pick up the food and then go to a plane. So it's very much an ideal thing to have your catering depot very close to a vehicle depot. Now, I don't happen to have that situation here, but I do have an underground passage, so I can quite easily put a depot right here and have that servicing my catering trucks. But of course, the other thing to be aware of is your terminals. If you have multiple terminals and you need to provide your catering service to all of them, beware that you must have your catering trucks in depots for the relevant terminal. My Terminal 1, in this instance, only has small planes, and small planes never use the catering service, so we don't have to worry about that one. But I do need to provide transport for Terminal 2 and for Terminal 3. So, Terminal 2, like I say, I can have the depot be underground and that's all very simple. But Terminal 3 is a bit more tricky. I need to pick a location where I can have the catering trucks and have them close enough to the catering depot that they can pick up food in a timely fashion. Now there are a few other things to be aware of. It works very much like fuel in that the depot will call for a resupply once they reach a certain um, available quantity of food and that you must set up a contract. Now I'm going to keep it simple, I'm just going to pick Sky Garden without even looking at it. Four stars sounds pretty good to me. As for the trucks themselves, you'll find them in the vehicle menu just like everything else. Go to purchase vehicles and scroll down until you can find the catering truck. 
Now, I've got quite a few medium aircraft in Terminal 2, so I'm going to order all 10 that I can order at once and wait for those to arrive. Now, I've just assigned those 10 trucks to my vehicle depot underground, but I don't think 10 is going to be enough, so I'm going to get some more. Bear in mind that I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 medium stands in Terminal 2. At any one time, I may have a call for 18 catering trucks. <laughs> and that's not even counting Terminal 3, which needs its own supply. Once you've satisfied yourself that you've got enough catering trucks and you've got your depot built and the service contract signed, you'll want to check that there's meals being prepared. There's no, no trick to that, just make sure that you aren't still sitting on zero when you come into the operations menu and switch on aircraft catering service. If you try to switch that on too soon and you don't have food prepared, well, I'm sure you can figure out what will happen. Planes will be delayed. Sure enough, here we see now catering trucks are picking up their food supplies and then driving off to wherever they need to go. So if we follow this one, See he's servicing this plane so we can watch the catering appear. All done. And if we catch the next one. Which may take a minute. Here we go. One thing to be aware of is yes they can hold 500 units of food but they typically only pick up exactly what they need for an individual plane one of the interesting things to note is when the plane is large enough it will require two catering trucks even though one catering truck has the capacity for 500 meals, one will go to the front of the plane and the other will go to the rear. Knowing that fact, you may want to have more than just one catering truck per plane. And here we can see a perfect example. This truck is going to the front of the plane and this one is going to the rear. So I want some more than I purchased already. For your airport, you will need to think carefully about how many planes might be on the ground at the same time versus how much parking you have and how many trucks you require.